All right, so this is weird. Uh, Joe Biden, in his speech, saying that the things he's doing through executive action aren't unconstitutional because certain people weren't allowed to have weapons from the very beginning since the Second Amendment existed. Well, he's not wrong, and I'll get to that in just a second. But first off, the right to self-defense doesn't come from the Second Amendment. In fact, any natural right you have doesn't come from anything any member of any government has ever written down. But as far as guns are concerned, I don't have a right to a gun because of the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment, and the rest of the rights enshrined in the Bill of Rights for that matter, are not about what rights the government benevolently is granting me or you. It's actually informing the government, hey, the people have these rights with or without you, you just cannot trample on them, you can't infringe on them. Congress shall make no law abridging such and such rights is a very important thing to understand, as it clearly implies that you have these rights with or without the government. They're just writing down what the government cannot do, namely infringe on those rights. But that being said, this is strange for Joe Biden to say this. Slavery and Native Americans were barred from owning guns, also Japanese when they were forced in those internment camps. Yeah, that's true. I'm not sure if that's the best example to use, as outside of a few hundred people in the KKK, most people, even very progressive people, probably don't think that that was a very good thing for any of those groups to be uh, disarmed. You can find me the most pro-gun control person you can. I don't think that they would have a huge issue with a slave having a gun and them using it on their master to free themselves. I wouldn't have a big problem with that either. Or how about... As I said, the Japanese Americans, when they were forced into internment camps during World War II, they were disarmed when they were put in those camps. They were not allowed to have guns at all, and they were forced into those camps defenseless because the government knew they were doing something horrible to those Japanese Americans, and those Japanese Americans, they might want to do something about it, which they would have been 100% justified in doing something about it, but they couldn't do much because government took their guns away. And guess what? No one in the government at that time in favor of disarming them thought it was unconstitutional. In fact, it was a threat to national security in their eyes. They were in a war with Japan. This is an emergency. Of course we have to curtail rights amidst this crisis. And people, namely U.S. citizens, went along with it because, yep, we were in a war. This is an emergency. These are uncertain and trying times. Oddly enough, emergency, national tragedy, epidemic, same words I hear from Biden. Talking about the amount of gun violence as being an epidemic as if we don't have 330 million people in the country. And also talking as if ending the war on drugs wouldn't immediately put an end to a huge chunk of the violence we do see. Forget about solutions that would actually help the problem, let's just take the authoritarian route as we always do. It's difficult not to see right through this nonsense. But anyway... The Japanese being disarmed at the time was viewed as not a violation of the Constitution. It was an emergency. Now, today, we're a bit more sober about it. Most people, I think, can agree that that was a huge mistake, and they shouldn't have had their guns taken away, and they shouldn't have been forced into those camps. And they did have a right to shoot back at a disgusting authoritarian government action. But Biden seems to disagree, I guess. Apparently, we can use the horrors of the past to justify the curtailing of rights today. Not a good look. Or how about the Wounded Knee Massacre? The Lakota Indians, where Indians the U.S. was trying to disarm, but they didn't want to disarm themselves, unsurprisingly. So the U.S. slaughters them all because they didn't want to disarm themselves. So Joe Biden, when he says, quote, the idea is just bizarre to suggest that some of the things we're recommending are contrary to the Constitution, End quote, because certain people weren't allowed to have weapons since the Second Amendment existed. This is weird to me because he's not wrong. Some people throughout U.S. history have been barred from having weapons. However, whenever that happened, in general, it happened for the worst, most horrific reasons. We want to keep you as slaves, so the U.S. government says you can't have weapons. We're having issues with you Native Americans, so the U.S. government says you can't have weapons. We're in the midst of a war with Japan, well, U.S. government says you can't have weapons, all you Japanese people. And we'll need you to relocate while you're at it. Yeah, Joe Biden, you're right that the U.S. government has made it illegal for some groups to not have weapons. But I'm not sure... Those are the best things to be referencing when trying to justify what you want to do today. In fact, Biden uses the word bizarre against those who want the right to defense 
to remain untouched. I don't think bizarre is such a good word for him to use, considering that the only thing that is bizarre is Biden and all the other gun control supporters out there. The only thing that is bizarre is their complete inability to learn anything at all from history. But that's all for now. Like, subscribe, please share this video. It's hugely appreciated. Take it easy.